Hi friends, welcome to your Sunday edition of Hot News. This is just another special thing that we're trying out to see if this kind of works for you and whether or not you as an audience enjoy it. So the plan for this video is I'm gonna be going over the hot news that we released earlier in this week and reviewing your comments, seeing what your reactions were and if there's any insight that we can glean from the information that y'all commented on hot news. Again, this is just meant to be additive to the content that we already have, not gonna take anything away from your regular daily dose of hot news that you enjoy with every single steaming hot pile of breakfast that you have. So buckle in, strap on, and get ready for breakfast hot news comment response edition. <laughs> Bingity bongity. Let's get into the comedy. What's wrong with me? So on Monday's episode, we talked about how GPUs are being sold hand over fist. And I asked you guys whether or not you would actually be purchasing GPUs right now, or if it's just miners. One of the things that I did mess up in that video was quoting the wrong numbers for GPU shipments. I was reading Intel's numbers when it came to market share, which I just should have known was wrong because I was reading the Intel iGPU numbers and I just it just didn't connect for me. My point was correct because I'd read all the source material, but when I went to go quote something, I was quoting from the numbers that were completely off when I was supposed to actually be quoting from this, which was how Nvidia is continuing to gain market share while AMD is continuing to lose it, but I was using Intel's numbers for Nvidia. So let that be a lesson to you, my friends. Brett makes mistakes. Andre saying, I would buy AMD if I could get one for the price that I want, not $200 over MSRP. I'm glad some people can wait. It's a good thing. Eternal Dreamers say, my local Micro Center has a bunch of AMD cards on the shelves. The problem is they're going for way above MSRP. A 6700 XT Challenger from ASRock shouldn't be $900. I've seen this being expressed by a lot of people. GPUs are out there, but they're being sold by for high prices by retailers, which isn't necessarily always the retailer's fault. Sometimes they can actually be beholden to a distributor or to the actual company who's selling them the product directly, and they're making little, if not no margin on some of these things. That's possible. It's not necessarily going to be the case, but it's a possibility. Nameless says, good job, Brett. This episode has filled me with some hope regarding getting my hands on a GPU for a new build. What an awful time to want to build a computer. I'm so sorry. Sorry, nameless. Thank you for the good, kind words, friend. John saying, Brett host, breakfast, and coffee. Good Monday morning, I say. You better believe it. I hope it's even better on a Sunday morning. Let me know what you think of the comment response, John. And then plenty of people calling me out on, you know, and me reading the wrong number on Hot News. That was just completely an error. I screwed up. Whoopsies. Kirk saying, I've been following Hot News for a year now. I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you for being one of the most humble and entertaining tech informers on YouTube. Humble? Holy friend. Clearly have not met me or talked to my employees. Wow. I don't want a Brett host anymore. I want some breakfast. Loving the energy on that intro, Brett host. This one, I told Catlin to do, all right? Motorsport, you say, hidden in the background music, there should be a secret layer of never gonna give you up, playing on loop. Absolutely, all right? Catlin, get on it, make this happen. It has to be a reality. Rasmus saying, feels like you got a lot better. What, what was wrong with me? Was I damaged? Was I sick? What? What do you mean I got a lot better? Did I suck at hot news? Was it a good episode on Monday? Olivia saying that's some 41 reference. That's, I love it. I love it when people get my off references. I don't even remember what it was, but you're welcome. I like to slip in those weird little references that are very, very subtle, not heavy handed at all. Thank you, Olivia, for the appreciation. On Tuesday's episode, we talked about how GPU prices were going back up. Air. Top comment of the day, stages of Brett's mic. No cable, cable laid out aesthetically pleasing. Cable, tight as a guitar string. No cable. Thanks for the news, Brett. Love your content. A lot of you did point out that my cable was being like strung, pulled across. It wasn't really working for me. Uh, and then I just unplugged it, of which people were like, why Why is there, has there never been a cable? What's going on? And to which, uh, if you go watch the uh, studio tour that I did over in UFD Tech, you know how the audio is set up over here. That way you weren't bamboozled by the nicely colored mic. I moved it over to my other station. I needed a mic for it, and I probably won't bring it back because it kind of cluttered the space here. I'm always open to suggestions and how to improve the setup. The microphone was, it's great aesthetically. I don't know if it fits like as far as uh, just how much stuff I already have in the frame. So I got rid of it for a little bit. Might come back, who knows? Michael says, don't care. If the GPUs come back down to MSRP, then I will upgrade. For the meantime, my PC works just fine though. It would be nice to be able to upgrade for now. Hey, listen, I always say that when people ask me, is it worth it to upgrade? Does your PC do what you want it to do? If yes, why would you upgrade? Yes, it's always nice to have the latest and the newest and the next hotness that's coming out, but if you can just go ahead and live with what you have, like, man, a GTX 970 goes really far today. I'm totally okay with people still holding on to their GPUs. Even if things were MSRP, you don't necessarily need to upgrade just because something new got, came out. Although I, I will respect the fact that there are a lot of people who are on 970s or even 780s or even lower that have been holding out, thought the 30 series was gonna be their generation, got 
got completely ripped from them. Dan says, I've come to the realization that I'll just skip this generation of GPUs. I'll be good to the next gen anyways. That makes a lot of sense. Matthew saying, but Brando's got what plants crave. It's got electrolytes. But Brando's got what plants crave. It's got electrolytes. That's uh, nice, nice funny on our sponsor, Liquid IV. I, I emptied that bag. Listen, electrolytes in your water. It's a good thing. Regardless of sponsor, Liquid IV is not sponsoring today's video. I'm trying to get hydrated, my friends. Electrolytes. Okay. Lightblaze also saying awkward intros became a staple of the channel. How dare you? Awkward? I at least think I have the emphasis and bravado to make it cringy, not awkward, right? Awkward is kind of where there's like, nobody knows what to say. You kind of dancing around it. I don't dance around it. I charge right into the fire, burn my skin off and then say, owie, owie, I'm on fire. Didn't you like it? Daddy, I gave you some content. Thomas saying, unrealistic unicorn diarrhea. Based on the consistent massive demand for GPUs, Nvidia is probably ordering up zillions of 4,000 series chips cards, right? Yes, exactly, all right? I can't be prouder of my wife than I was when she was the RGB diarrhea of a unicorn. It was the best moment in our marriage. Not true, but still. Better than the thought of having zillions of RTX 4,000 series cards, I promise you that. Hayasu saying they need more unicorn crossovers. I absolutely agree. Let's go ahead and find out. Hey, you're on hot news right now. Um, they want to know, will you come back as the RGB diarrhea unicorn? Pardon? Uh, you remember when you were that uh, that pooping unicorn for oh, me? Oh, yes. I don't, I don't even remember what it sounded like, but sure. Okay. Time. Okay. Uh, can we get can we get a little bit of that right now? I don't remember what it sounds like. Uh, okay, I'll pull it up for you. Give me a second. RGB diarrhea princess unicorn. Yeah. I do remember this. There, there was a unicorn, and that was the voice. Yeah, this was like four years ago. RGB motherboard done! Ah! Can, can we get a little bit of that? I don't even know if I can take their voice that high. No. Okay. All right. Thank you, anyways. Love you. She has retired from her role as the crapping unicorn. She will just be my beautiful wife from now on. Let's talk about Wednesday's episode of Hot News, where we came out that there's some GPU malware that's existing in the VRAM of cards. Steve B saying, another fine member of our species to make things to hurt others. You went there. That hurts. Yeah? Is man inherently good or a man inherently bad? Answer down below. He was horny, so he dropped him. Man is evil. Venom saying, ha ha ha, give us money to play games again. What, where are you going? Me going to my physical games that I haven't finished or started. Wait, that's illegal. You have physical, are you talking like board games? You have board games? You could also like go outside. That's like a legitimate option in case your computer gets hacked. I don't know. I've, I've, I've heard about it. I've never been there. Olivia's saying, I'd pay some tech savvy angry gamers to track down the creators and destroy their computers to destroy the sellers. Day Ultima saying, I noticed the description of the exploit says, works only in Windows workstations that support OpenCL 2.0 and higher. Hopefully that means us Linux users are safe from it, of which I said, for now, this is something that I glossed over while I was recording the episode of Hot News and realized afterwards that I probably should have mentioned it, which is that yes, this is only for Windows exploits as far as they're officially saying, based in the like forum that was trying to sell this. So it's probably gonna be fine, but a lot of my audience uses Windows. It's not like it's uncommon for it. You Linux users would like to be on your high horse. It just got this much higher, all right? It's got another hand higher. Your horse is just, it's neighing all the way up there. Plus one for that magnificent mic cable. Thanks for the tech update, Brett. You're welcome. Magnificent mic cable is now completely gone. Actually, the cable's just laying down on the ground over here. The XLR cable's still plugged in. A lot of people had this sentiment, which was imagine NiceHash accidentally getting those binaries into the GPU. A lot of people wanted miners to get this malware so that they couldn't use their cards for mining anymore. Everybody's really salty. Jackal saying another good third breakfast. Thanks for the info. You're welcome, Jackal. I'll always be there for your third breakfast, whether you want me to or not. Whether or not you invite me in to enjoy it with you is not relevant to whether or not I'll be there for it. FSAD says 4.30 p.m. breakfasts are the best. Thanks for providing me breakfast entertainment. You're welcome. All right. Everybody who's out there talking about how, oh, it's, it's too late. I'm going to have lunch. No. You're gonna have second breakfast, all right? If you're watching hot news while you're about to consume a meal or just after you've consumed a meal, that meal thereby default becomes breakfast. You're absolutely 100% well. Thursday's episode was about EVGA and their RTX 3090s and how they said that it was actually the soldering that was the problem. The real saying, this hot news has a way more efficient heat sink than yesterday. Swicey equals sweet plus spicy, you dig. Some days I'm on, some days I'm off. As I'm recording, I, like I even tell my editor, I'm just like, oh, this is gonna be a really rough episode because I can't even get a half a statement out before I start burping to myself, which by the way, this 
this is a problem that I have that I'm only going to reveal here. I've actually revealed it other places. But when I'm recording videos, my body like produces an extreme amount of gas. It feels like while I talk, I like ingest air and then I have to burp. And it's just, it's really frustrating. I don't know how to deal with it. Jerk says, I'm on my third R EVGA 39 for the win three. First one blew while playing Valheim back in March. Second one had the very unbalanced power draw, drew over 80 watts from the PCI Express slot. You've measured that. I'm, I'm impressed. Third one is better, but power draw still isn't balanced like it is on other brands of cards, which causes it to throttle due to power. That was a huge controversy back with the RX 480 wasn't it that it was drawing like 80 to 85 watts from the PCI Express and everybody was like the 480 sucks what is AMD doing with Polaris it's disgusting and then it went on to be like the generation that simply does not die then Vera saying yes I'm excited for a surface studio that uses the Xbox Series X processor GPU but instead of a crappy 30 millimeter M.2 expansion SSD that costs three times as much as the SSD inside I'd love to have two to four you're dreaming my friend you think Microsoft's gonna give you like friendly hardware listen they're selling the xbox at a loss because their entire market there is video games they they're going to sell this hardware as an uptick to try to subsidize all the other costs that you're going on that you think microsoft actually is going to give you the goods stream on mr webb is saying the only problem i've ever had with the rtx 39 is the fact that i've never seen one in stock and it was a reasonable pr price is the words that i'm trying to get out of my mouth you can get them it, it's usually new egg shuffle it's like the best buy drops you can get them but you're right it kind of sucks pastry bear saying watching with a pbga and some coffee i make the bread and the jam heck yeah we have a bread maker we've been doing that for we haven't done it since we moved back from south africa but we still have the same bread maker we were making like pizza dough and bread and jam all all the freaking time. Also saying the difference between height and the NZXT H1 is that it doesn't start fires. Oof. And Darren letting me know that the height case actually has two nubs, one for the VR headset, which is that can dope. Friday's episode of Hot News is about NVIDIA's new mining card that was coming out. With Retrofaction saying the problem isn't that there are not any mining options on the market. The problem is with miners that purchase directly with AIBs where average consumers have to see what little stock retailers can get from AIBs. The mining card won't fix anything. I think that's spot on. This is something that I've been saying for years, um, but typically isn't the most common narrative. Everybody's upset with retailers. Everybody's upset with miners. But in reality, it goes much higher up the food chain. If NVIDIA wanted to put a stop to miners getting their hands on cards, they could absolutely do a moratorium on these companies being able to drop ship hundreds, if not thousands of cards to these large scale mining operations, or even dropping dozens of cards to a medium size operation. It's been happening for years, but this is the same problem that existed in 2017, 2018, but we're also having the added problems of added tariffs that have gone onto the cards, as well as shipping costs have gone up in a certain amount. I think they like tripled in the last two weeks and they were already stupidly high. And then just uh, chip shortages are causing this to be an absolute crap show of GPUs and the availability of not just graphics cards, but a whole bunch of other processors out there. And yeah, this is part of the problem. It's not all of it. And having a mining card is not going to fix hardly anything, but some people think it will. Pete Eddie saying, I love starting and ending my day on mushrooms. Absolutely. You freaking kidding me. I have it right here. I love like they're not even sponsoring today's episode for Sigmatic. I absolutely love them. Stefan saying, all I want is a Swiss army knife that hopefully has a screwdriver. Is that too much to ask? Yes. It is too much to ask. You don't have enough hope in your heart, all right? You wanna manifest that screwdriver on that Swiss Army knife. You have to dig down deep, realize that you are not fulfilling your potential of how much you can absolutely desire a sheer thing in this universe. Grab that, rip it, punch a black hole into it, and then know that you can hope just a little bit harder. And then, magically, Swiss Army knife has a screwdriver worked for me. Let me know if it works for you. Brutus saying, if you're a miner, you can make money on any card and you can buy an availability. It's the only thing holding you back. How does offering a mining specific card change your behavior so that you don't buy it and then turn around and buy any graphics card on this shelf that you can get your hands on? That's absolutely spot on. You're correct. I, I think the idea of mining cards is just to placate some people and also an easy way for NVIDIA to be able to sell off ex excess hardware that they otherwise couldn't. Josh and I honestly don't get why people ask you to speak more slowly. This is literally my breakfast routine, breakfast routine. You're right. I am fast. I speak very quickly. It's something that I think I picked up along the years of being alive. And I, I, some people on YouTube don't like it. And so I just, I try to make sure that I'm providing content in a way that's consumable. And sometimes you can't consume Brett as easy as you want. I'm not properly digested when your head's all cloudy, which is honestly the key to listen to the things fast. All right. You want to listen to two, three, four X speed on YouTube. You cannot be focusing on anything else. It'll divide your attention and you'll lose the in critical bits. But but I guarantee you, me watching stuff four times speed on YouTube allows me, number one, to speak faster, but then number two, I retain as much as people who watch the regular thing
everything at one time speed. It's absurd how much time we waste by just trying to consume entertainment, and then we realize we wasted it all anyways because nobody remembers the gosh dang details. So guess what? If you skip the details by going fast, you're all on the same level playing field. It's the best thing that you possibly do. You don't waste less time because you just end up consuming more, but you become well versed in the internet. Sergey is saying, ooh, just in time for my second breakfast, my favorite bread house. You're welcome. Waifu saying, just wait till you get OLED on that SSD AIO cooler. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna slap my own OLED on that. Which by the way, I did end up buying that CPU block that has that 1440 by 1440 uh, display on it, that barrel one. I'm gonna make a UFD tech video on that soon. I'm really excited for it. Eric saying, biscuits and gravy with coffee. Love your show, great way to start the morning's EST. I appreciate that. That's one of the reasons why we release it at the time we do. I know it's not necessarily good for my European audience, but it's great for my South African team who can actually get everything done by the middle of the afternoon. I film hot news the night before. I usually record this around 10 p.m. Eastern time. Then I ship it over to my friends in South Africa. They start work at 9 a.m. South Africa time, which is 3 a.m. my time. By the time I wake up, they're typically done with it. I review it, we check it, we go over the thumbnail and the title and all that kind of stuff. And then it releases at 9 a.m., which seems to be the perfect breakfast segment, which is one of the reasons why I say hot news is the best one for breakfast because that's literally when we release it. It's kind of late for breakfast, but still, you know, I, I get it out as fast as I possibly can trying to make sure I have the news ready to go for you. And I think everybody who's kind of jumped into that and like supported me with commenting on what your breakfast is, it means a lot. Thank you so much for your support on that. And then lastly, we had yesterday's episode of Hot News, which was just this week in news where I recapped everything. Just want to go over a few comments from that. Leopoldo saying, this really is an enjoyable series with morning coffee. Thank you, my friend. Austin saying, well, I definitely didn't expect that from A&T. Very accurate title. Thank you. We've been actually tweaking our titles and we've been seeing a lot of good uh, performance on it from YouTube. I wonder if this is just for licensing or if AMD will become a manufacturer in the space. I have no idea. We'll find out as things go on. David said, didn't miss this week's day videos watching the recap while scamming to keep the algorithm happy. Thank you, David. Josh saying, love the energy. Thank you, friend. Mr. CNA video 911 game says, yes, Saturday edition. Thanks for the news. You're welcome. I'm glad you all are enjoying this week in news, the week ha recap. Uh, I, I was kind of nervous to do it at first, just like I'm kind of nervous to do this comment response. I don't know how this is going to come across. Is this entertaining enough for you? Please let me know down below in the comments. Jackal saying, ah, eating a pork schnitzel breakfast as I listen. Absolutely. That's legendary. Beautiful. Jackal. I love you. And Philip also saying bacon pancakes. Good stuff. And the last comment I want to talk on is actually something that slightly bothered me from yesterday's episode where you said, it said that you didn't mention that the hate for Austin is insane and you are one of them too, but I still respect your daily tech new update. So hopefully everyone chilled down and stop attacking Austin, which I responded, where did I attack anyone? I simply mentioned an alternative viewpoint from well-respected tech journalists. If that's an attack, then we have wildly different definitions and approaches to life because I just simply talked about, number one, what I thought could be a possible explanation for the data Austin provided, and then also quoted the people from Digital Foundry who also, again, just provided an alternative viewpoint for what Austin saw with his data. It's not necessarily attacking him. I didn't say Austin was wrong. I was just providing an alternative explanation. I think Austin it makes great YouTube videos. There's absolutely no attack happening and I haven't seen any hate for Austin. If it is out there, then I don't think it really should be. Maybe it was a little misguided to measure exhaust temperatures and then claim that something was happening on the SOC, but that could also be perfectly valid. And there's lots of instances where that assumption can be made. He's not necessarily wrong. I'm just saying that there's not enough data for us to actually prove him right. It's not hate. It's not an attack. It's just saying, hey, listen, there might be an alternative explanation that does doesn't involve Sony being a cheap piece of crap company. It's possible that they are, which I mean, Austin's viewpoint could be 100% correct, but there's also evidence to believe that that might not necessarily be the case, which is not, again, an attack. I don't believe that calling into question things that people say as being potentially needing extra verification as an attack on their credibility or anything like that. I make mistakes all the time. I make assumptions that I didn't even know I could assume. I have biases that are implicit to who I am as a human and everybody has those. Like we all have an angle. When you're looking for non-biased sources or objective sources, those don't exist. Everybody has an angle. Everybody has a perspective and a worldview by which they filter reality and that colors the commentary of whatever you might want to provide. Just by sheerly saying that I'm looking at the data, why are you looking at that data and not other data? Why did you choose to go by that data and not this data? Why are you using this as a reasoning and justification for this when you can do it for this other reason? There's tons of ways that people spin coverage and content. That doesn't make it bad. That doesn't make it wrong. That doesn't make it anything less than human. 
And I'm absolutely all for that. But that doesn't mean people can't make mistakes. Doesn't mean people can't make wrong assumptions. I do it every single gosh dang day. And when I ask a question of, hey, could it also be this explanation? That's not me attacking a person. That's me trying to understand, hey, did we consider all of the options? Could we have a better explanation here? Because I honestly do want to know the truth. And I believe the person who did the testing, in this case, Austin Evans, actually wants to know the truth too. And just because somebody might call into question whether or not he's right doesn't mean that he's not, he's a bad person or he's a bad tech YouTuber. There's no attacks here. Sorry, I got a little defensive on that, but I just, I just want to make it clear. I'm not attacking anybody when I call into question what's happening. Sometimes I attack companies but I won't attack people directly, even though companies are people. Maybe I should question my worldview on everything. I'm sometimes a lot wrong. Thank you for sticking with me. And let me know what you thought of this comment response episode of Hot News. I know it's a little long. I, this is more community oriented. This is not meant to provide you with news information. This is just for me to let you know that I'm reading your comments. I'm participating in the community. Like I really like when you guys comment on the videos, you provide alternative perspectives. When you call me out for messing up and reading from Intel's numbers, well, I'm trying to say NVIDIA is amazing. Like, I need to be called out like that. That's how you keep things honest. So thank you so much for watching this. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you thought of this week's news, yesterday's episode. And I'll see you tomorrow for a fresh episode of Hot News. Cheers, my friends.